Hello and welcome to this audio presentation of Navigating the Paleo Diet, a beginner's guide to navigating the paleo diet in a modern world. Copyright and disclaimer information is available in the ebook version for your review. This content is laid out as follows. We'll start with an introduction, followed by five chapters, and then a conclusion. So with that, let's jump right into the introduction of Navigating the Paleo Diet. Introduction. Whether we like it or not, the health of our society is bad and getting worse. As technology continues to develop, convenience does as well, and ordering food is literally as simple as the clicking of a button. Long gone are the days of having to find your own food, let alone having to drive to a restaurant to get dinner. Cooking dinner looks less and less appealing when compared to the food conveniences and choices amongst diners, catering services, fast food, and takeout. According to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, diabetes is now the seventh leading cause of death just in the United States alone. Type 2 diabetes has been on the rise due to poor lifestyle choices, such as too much unhealthy food and not enough exercise. Globesity, a term coined by the World Health Organization to describe the worldwide obesity epidemic, is another problem as well. These numbers continue to rise, as do the associated health problems and diseases. As governments and local communities start to feel the impact of obesity, diabetes, hypertension, etc. due to poor lifestyle choices, awareness is increasing. Cheap processed foods are so readily available and overwhelm the shelves in supermarkets. Toss desk jobs, long drives, or commutes, and electronics into the mix, and we do a lot of sitting around and very little to burn off that processed food. Americans spent about 25% of their net income on food 90 years ago, according to a study done by Rand on why Americans are so fat. In present day, we spend less than 10% of that income on food, but we're certainly not eating less, we're eating more, unhealthier, cheaper foods. But perhaps we're finally seeing a turning point. The last three quarters, McDonald's has seen a global decline of about 3.3% in sales, perhaps indicative of less consumption of fast food. With the media covering the obesity epidemic and health and quality of life plummeting, some people are starting to see the light. Documentaries such as Fed Up are exposing food manufacturers' concerns that lie only with profits and not health, and how added sugar is in over 80% of supermarket foods. We may be a long way off from getting back to the good old days where dinner was made from whatever was in the garden and processed foods were nearly unheard of, but the best we can do is inform ourselves of why healthy choices are the best for long-term health and quality of life. As technology develops, our choices will only continue to grow. By making wise ones, we can help battle and slow this rising epidemic. So today, I want to give you a quick beginner's overview of one of the best choices you can make in regards to overall health and a natural way of eating, the paleo diet. Don't worry if you don't know what it is. Within the next few moments, you will discover why it has been one of the most talked about diets of recent time. Let's dive in. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.